Now, your first alert forecast with meteorologist Chelsea Aaron. All right, Chelsea, like you talked about this morning, uh, kind of just like a messy, rainy, nasty commute. Um, for the most part, though, it's cleared and it's not bad out there. Yeah, Gina, we will trend drier and also quiet through likely the rest of your Monday. But again, several more rounds of rain and storms will be in the forecast for this week. And Wednesday into Thursday, that's our next time to watch for the possibility of strong to severe storms. So please come out and see us sometime on Wednesday afternoon before those storms arrive late during the evening hours. Get your weather radio programmed. I promise it will save you a lot of grief. Here's a live look at the parkway this afternoon. Some partial clouds clearing out there, but most of us will be dealing with partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies as we head throughout the rest of your afternoon. Tracking some light showers through portions of Limestone County, mainly north of the Tennessee River, and I can't rule out an isolated shower or storm as we head throughout the next few hours, but like I just mentioned, rain chances will be rather low as we head throughout the rest of your day. All all of that rain that we saw this morning has shifted over to our east across portions of West Virginia, also Kentucky. Next big thing to watch will be the Great Plains as they are likely going to be dealing with a very severe tornado outbreak today. This is going to be for Kansas and into Oklahoma. No severe weather for us today, but yes, we will be closely monitoring that threat by Wednesday. Current temperatures are warm mid upper 70s out there and will continue to warm likely into the low and mid 80s with the help of some southerly southwesterly breezes. Now winds will be gusting occasionally up to 20 miles per hour, but winds will likely steadily die down after sunset. Mainly dry conditions in the forecast through your afternoon. High temperatures like I mentioned low and mid 80s. We will see mostly clear skies into your evening hours with overnight lows staying very mild, very muggy upper 60s, low 70s. Expect clouds to build back into the region like just before sunrise for your Tuesday and yet again showers and storms will be in the forecast and most of us not seeing them until the afternoon and evening hours and some of these storms could be on the strong side but again the better threat for severe weather that's likely going to arrive late Wednesday into Thursday morning. What are our main threats right now? Well, all modes of severe weather will be possible, including damaging wind gusts, also larger hail. But if we do see uh, what we call the low level jet kick in, we will be dealing with the possibility of a few tornadoes as well. We will continue to fine tune this forecast. We have issued a 48 first alert. So again, this is going to be a big time frame to watch. We have lucked out thus far across the spring season here in the Tennessee Valley. We haven't really seen a lot of severe weather, but again, make sure you are staying weather alert and also make sure you have a severe weather plan in place. Best time frame will likely arrive after five o'clock on Wednesday evening, continuing overnight into the early morning hours on Thursday. We will see additional rounds of rain throughout the day on Thursday, but rain will come to an end late Thursday, early Friday, and look how much cooler we are going to get. Your Mother's Day week Weekend looking nice, but temperatures will only warm into the low 70s with overnight lows back in the low 50s.